Hello, hi. Uh, you're tuning into Youth Priest Ministries with Robert Paul LeBlanc, and I am reading from Timothy out of the international, uh, the national, uh, the New International Version, right? That's what they call it, right? So, um, yeah, the New International Version, this one uh, is by Zonderbam Publishers out of Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I'm from California, USA, and uh, we are at, we are reading from the Bible and Doctrine, and this is the True Teacher, all right? I'm uh, just administering the word to you as you have come to hear it from me. All right. Paul's charge to Timothy. But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. What he's saying is he's fleeing from love of money <clears throat> and the many roots of all kinds of evil that could be root, rooted to, like the holding on of things, uh, and all of this iniquity. So, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses in the sight of God who gives life to everything and of Christ Jesus, who, while testifying before Pontius Pilate, made the good confession. I charge you to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which God will bring about in his own time. May God, the blessed and only ruler, King of kings, the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or can see, to him be honor and might forever. Amen. All right. You know, this is like the Lord's Prayer. This is it. Give the Lord, give the God the glory. This is this is so powerful that on my heart that this is my strongest message at this time. We continue. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age so that they may take hold of the life that is that is truly life. Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to your care. Turn away from godless chatter and the opposing ideas of what is falsely called knowledge, which some have professed, and in so doing have wandered from the faith. Grace be with you. Okay. So... I mean, I'm so guilty of this. I thought, under this guise, I don't, don't want to be half-truths, you know. And I think, oh, I, I know all this great knowledge, and so powerful it could my word be, right? You know, um, I have all this history to back up the thoughts that I've put together, and, uh, um, you know, all, all of this stuff, but it ends up being more half truths and things because because it's relying upon my own knowledge. So why I, I stand here to stay and deliver the word, it's coming straight from the Bible, and so um, by not relying upon your own knowledge, you are basically supplicating to something far greater than anything that you can know or learn. And for me, being drawing close to the Lord, I feel, oh, I know this, I know this. My eternal spirit knows of all this. But uh, as soon as I start thinking uh, that, that 
I'm so smart. And that, believe me, this is one of the greater uh, challenges that I've had to face. Um, I have noticed, though, when I stop relying on this, that this is when the Lord can step in and give to me because no longer am I fighting against a struggle to be the scientist that creates this and that, but I allow for nature and the Spirit to do it for me and through my prayer and through my trust and faith. This is what I seek to do. So, uh, this is what is being asked. This is what is being taught. So, I regress and I say, well, but I have all these great words and all these great experiences, Lord, that I just know that that this knowledge still point to here, but maybe maybe that's why the Lord is just saying, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I was just calling you the whole time, you know, who knows? Um, but to get involved in the conversations with uh, men and women of great minds of the world, they, they think they can rule out spirit. And, and I've always thought it's funny that people think, well, there's a battle between science and religion. No, there isn't. All science ever can do is identify what the Lord has already created. We can repurpose stuff, and this is fine. You know, we are in the image we are creators, but it does not disprove. It doesn't disprove anything. That's why I think this is a silly uh, lie of the devil, and it's. Uh, it, it, it's true that it explains all kinds of things about the way that the God made this stuff that it's a gift for us to be able to harness but it still does not disprove the existence of the Lord and the miracles that I've experienced I profess and testify and that's really Maybe why I was gifted with this, uh, these visions or these understandings. Um, so hopefully, I can share that with you guys as we go along in this. All right. So I hold in my hand a pomegranate. Okay. Um, some believe that the apple in Genesis may have been. This may be also just as equally of a representation. Uh, in fact, it's more likely because apples are more of a Genesis thing that came about from, you know, creating orchards. It used to be law that everybody had to <laughs> plant so many apple trees to be worthy of the land that they were hoping to steward and live on. And this, this was definitely more of a pioneer thing for the Americas. And uh, not really sure about the types of apples from uh, the Middle East and, and uh, Jerusalem and Israel and the Mediterranean and Egyptian places. So it's true that it's more likely. And because it is all in parables, there are these great, interesting sub truths. They're not sub truths, they are truths, but the, let the Lord the Lord should bring them to you and you got to you have to open your heart and maybe then this will come about and be shared with you uh, all right well thanks for tuning in Lord be with you bless your spirit glory be to God and grace be with you